the confetti, the money, the screaming, the ratings. 20 years of a television phenomenon, and it's back. A new Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? Cool, Marker. With Jimmy Kimmel hosting and welcoming a legend. The king has returned. The return of the king. Jimmy and Regis. You've even still got the shiny tie, which makes me feel good. <laughs> That's right. A look where cameras never go. Good to go. You have second sticks. Mark. We come in in the round. There are lights everywhere. I mean, there's more LED than a Las Vegas nightclub in here at this point. The hosts. Who wants to be a millionaire? A millionaire. 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 The contestants. I know you want to leave me. I don't really need your help, but I just wanted to let you know that I'm going to win the million dollars. First woman as a millionaire. A real story like Slumdog Millionaire as a new celebrity millionaire debuts. Who wants to be a millionaire? And a new app means you could win big money too. Regis Celebrity Millionaire, hosted by me, Jimmy Kimmel, will be A, a huge hit. What do you think? Is that your final answer? And now, Chris Connolly. Name something that everyone wants to be. A, a firefighter. B, royalty. C, on vacation. D, a millionaire. In 1999, D became everyone's final answer. He just won a million dollars! That's why he wants to be a millionaire. It ought to be who doesn't want to be a millionaire. It's no surprise that people are interested in this program. You know, everybody said beforehand, oh, a, a, a primetime quiz show? Are you crazy? What do you mean, a quiz show on primetime? Well, consider end-of-the-century American TV watching. So fragmented. Sitcoms in the living room. Sopranos in the study. Nay sent me here. Sports in the den. Here comes Chicago. 17 seconds. Music videos upstairs. Getting jiggy with it. It was time for one thing to rule them all. But could the program that would reunite families really be a game show? People forget that in the 1950s, I mean, this is a foundation of American television, the idea of the primetime quiz show. $64,000 question, 21. The 1950s were the heyday of these big money primetime programs. Later celebrity enhanced game shows filled the bill in the 1960s. I've got a secret, what's my line? And what's my line? But this was new, a prime time game show scheduled like it was the Olympics, airing night after night after night. Who Wants to Be a Millionaire would be the first U.S. game show with a million dollar top prize and be hosted by a beloved daytime TV personality. I think the time is right for a big time quiz show. They want to be a millionaire in their fantasies and so on. Here's a chance to become a millionaire in a matter of moments. And so I think that is the underlying reason for the success of the show. You just won a million dollars! The winds would be exhilarating, and the tension would be irresistible. Final answer? Final answer. I'm a fat man, Regis. My heart can't take it. I'm just trying to help you sweat off a few pounds. OK. Final answer? Final answer. That'd be just one of the catchphrases with the lifelines everyone grew to depend on. 50-50. Narrow it down to two. Yeah. Let's Maybe do that. Me out. All right, computer, please take away two of the wrong answers, leaving Matt one wrong answer and the correct one. Ask the audience. Audience says bullfighting. 66% of them feel that way. And perhaps the most famous. I think I'd like to phone a friend. What's up? Audience is very tense. All the pressure is on you. Okay. You're what the? Every week it was just so exciting to tune in and see what was going to happen in the cliffhangers. We welcome you back to the program that basically just fills the time between episodes of The Millionaire. I'm Charles Gibson. <laughs> 30 million viewers each night through two weeks long sessions in 1999. It's not too bad a schedule. It sounds like it's tough, but for a, for a pop culture icon like me, nothing defying the naysayers and reuniting families in front of their home screens. Who wants to look like Regis Philbin? Suddenly, the host of the trend-setting game show is setting fashion trends, too. 
The sudden primetime stardom suited Regis like his on-trend monochrome shirt and tie combos. All solid colored ties, solid colored shirts. You can see them right here. Put this on. I feel like giving away a million dollars. You know why? Because you feel like a million dollars. What game to buy? Was there merch? Of course there was. T-shirts, toys, and video games, too, for sale. It's Who Wants to Be a Millionaire, the handheld game. Its cultural impact resonated, including sketches on Saturday Night Live. For $200. Actually, Regis, uh, I'm good. I think I'm going to fold up the shop. <laughs> I'm sorry? I think I'll fold up the shop, take my $100, go back to West Virginia and plan my family's future. Millionaire was on for 20 years, and every host in daytime had their own personality. After Regis's reign, 11 years with Meredith Vieira in the chair. Everybody here would love to see you get the next two questions right. And then, Cedric the Entertainer. Let's put some money in the bank. Terry Crews. I've got a whole lot of cash to give away today here on Millionaire. And Chris Harrison. Let's play. Who wants to be a millionaire? You gotta be a therapist, a referee, a host. You kind of do it all. Now, two decades after it began in prime time, TV watching families may need a show to unify them again. So what better time for Jimmy Kimmel to succeed Regis Philbin as host of a brand new incarnation of Celebrity Who Wants to Be a Millionaire. Taped just before Hollywood Studios closed their doors. Creator Michael Davies is back in the producer's chair. That's gonna be a descent. The applause will carry through here. And then, bam. Where for him, not much has changed. They need to be pressed one at a time. For me, I haven't produced this show in 10 years. It all started flooding back. And here we are. Oh, behold, I'm gonna take you on a tour of a glamorous, multi-million dollar set. I can't wait. I'm super excited, even with all the problems going on and that have made this challenging to produce. I just think it's such an important time for this show. Everything about this program is so positive. It's such great family entertainment. We come in in the round. It's highly Greek. One of the problems with that is whenever you enter the stage, you can enter in any of the three VOMs. You never really know where you are. Let there be light. Yeah, it's pretty. LED was really a marvelous invention. Oh, there we go. That's the pretty stuff. I mean, the reality is we're still really learning uh, everything that this set can do. It's like buying a new Ferrari, taking it out of the dealership, having to be a little careful for the first few hundred miles. 21 years later, we have 21 year later technology. We have a floor that lights up, screens, logos, lighting moves, video throughout the entire show. I am sitting in Jimmy's seat, the seat from where Jimmy hosts and gives away millions of dollars of ABC's money to worthy charities. Okay, crossing now from the host seat to the contestant hot seat. <sighs> this is where the whole feeling gets suddenly very, very different. I feel the music come in, I feel the lighting change. I sort of feel the entire pressure of the entire world is upon me. This has been our set. Now, let's play Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.